What's going on everybody? Today's episode is going to be about the update of Green Thing along with my new car reveal. So first and foremost, the Green Thing for the everybody who doesn't know what the Green Thing is, it was my 392 Challenger. I got it right when I opened up RTB exhaust and it made RTB what it is today. It had a lot of work done to it by NPR, love them dudes, good looking out Lonnie. Had a stage three cam, 3600 stall, E85, all the good stuff. I was pushing in the fives um, to the wheel. It was chasing Hellcats, wasn't beating Hellcats, but Hellcat couldn't get away from me. It was a fun car, I loved it. The update. For those who don't know, a couple months ago, I was driving down Central, I was driving down Artesia, not Central, and a kid ran a red light. Kid T-boned us, totaled it out. That thing's twisted like a pretzel. It's really unfortunate, because that motor is still good. It's, I was able to still drive it off, you know, but God, you know, God's there for us. We were able to all walk away. We all had some bumps and scratches, but for the most part, we all had our legs. We all had our breath. That's all that matters. Um, we got an update for you guys. It was totaled out as of like three weeks ago, right before SEMA. It was totaled out. Everything was finalized. The new update. This is what's going on now. Everybody's in my DMs asking me to drop a picture. I did a little teaser picture with a key. Everybody wants to know what I got. I've been telling everybody everything. I've been telling everybody all of the wrong things. So here today, you're gonna know what I have. And I'm gonna give you a little walk around, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, some of the plans I have to do, and so on and so forth. So without that said, here it goes. So a little bit about it, it's a 2017, it's obviously a Hellcat. I had to get me a Hellcat, man, my 392 was, man, I was smoking everything. I'm not being arrogant, it was fast. But I couldn't go back, could not go back to a 392. Um, I'd be starting all the way over. And so it's just time to upgrade. So a little bit about it, it's a 2017. It's used, for everybody who knows me, I don't get new cars because two reasons, pull it off the lot, lose all that money it's worth i'm not in the business of spending money for it to go away right away and second it uh has it i, I mod everything so by me modding everything i'm not you know warranty doesn't mean anything to me now this one it has a warranty and i'm stupid enough to buy an extended warranty so we're gonna see how long that lasts before i want to start modifying it uh it has all the features i wanted I wasn't looking for much, really just wanted a Hellcat with a sunroof, but it came with a little bit more than that. I have a few ideas that I want to do for it. First off, I got Demon Wheels that I had on my 392. I'm going to slap those right here on that. I do not like this. It's all good. I think it's cliche. Um, I plan on wrapping the whole car. I want to see how long I can keep it yellow for. You don't see a lot of Hellcats yellow out here in LA. There is a few. Please do not bash me for that. What else? I want to do motor work to it. I also want to do a lot more stuff to it that's not going to be anytime soon. Given that my mod for this car is just me having it. I went from a 392, bleh, 392 to a Hellcat. Can't beat that. So, with that said, some of the ideas that I want to go is E85. I want to put my cam back on there. I want to build the internals. I want to do a lot of things to this car. I first first mod I'm probably gonna do is exhaust work what am I gonna do I have no idea I every time I think of something I change it up so you know <laughs> when I get to that I'll get to that so inside the vehicle I really like the new look on it the ch Challenger I had before did not have all these special features it didn't have the performance pages didn't have anything special like this it had the regular steering wheel it is a big upgrade for me. What I don't like about it is it is a big upgrade for me. I am feeling like an old person now. There's so much stuff. So 
that's the stock sound, mind you. I own an exhaust shop and I have not touched my car yet. I will soon. So, let me just mess with this stuff a little bit. The performance pages, I'm still learning this stuff. I do not know too much about it yet. I have to play with this these buttons. Hold on, it is hot in my car. I am rolling the windows down. So, all, a lot of you guys have this. A lot of you guys see this. A lot of scat packs have the same stuff like that. Uh, it's, you know, it's no really different other than there's some Hellcat features on here. Let's see what I can play with. So, I'm probably going to be playing with track and sport a lot. Mind you, I am a guy who do not does not know how to drive a stick shift, so these paddle shifters are going to come in handy. <laughs> so this is what it does on track. Got a nice little things on there. Transmission goes track mode. I can give you more information on that later. Uh, traction, that basically means traction control is off. Sport, a little bit of the same. Some small, minor things change. I'm also talking to somebody who... Uh, most of you guys on here already know what it does. Most of you guys have seen it. I am not the first person to have this, but this is my first Hellcat. This is the most expensive car I've ever bought in my life, and I am proud of it. <laughs> so, with that being said, there's a lot of things I want to do to this car. Uh, there's a lot of little small little features I want to do. There's, um, they, they have these things where it ch changes the colors of the, like the carbon fiber look and stuff like that in here. A lot of little accent things. That's something I'll do down the road when I plan on wrapping the car. I don't know what color I'm going to wrap it. Yes, I do have an idea what I want to do right now. It might change next week. So there's not even no point in talking about that yet. But one of the main features, for everybody who knows me, knows that there's one feature that I could not go without on this Hellcat. And it's a sunroof. <laughs> a lot of people take advantage of that. or look. They look over this. But these small little things like this for me, my first car had, was a Camaro in, in high school. And I had T-tops. <laughs> I love riding around with that window down, or the windows off. Now I can do the same thing. I'm loving this. This thing right here drives like a dream, man. It is so strong around corners. I had no idea how good this thing would feel. My 392 could hit a corner at 50 miles an hour as long as the tires stick. This right here, man, it feels like it grips those corners, man. Just gotta watch out for these potholes, see that? And then the big boy brakes come in handy. Man, this thing feels like I can get it 100 miles an hour without even blinking. And Brembo's come in handy. Boy, do I love this car. Get across this and I'll do another pull. play with the paddle shifters right now obviously I'm holding a camera I do not have a co-pilot so I'll play with that another day man this thing sounds so good and it has stock exhaust that is crazy I can't wait to gut it I'll have a whole video on that Today's a perfect day to cruise. Still don't know what I want to put as the exhaust. You guys give me some comments. Hit me up on Instagram, YouTube, whatever. Let me know. Give me your suggestions. Obviously, I'm not going to do nothing stupid where it doesn't give me back pressure. But I'll definitely do something where I can still keep my power. Just want to thank the guys over at Jack Powell Dodge. I literally drove 100 miles out to go get this thing. I could not let this deal pass me up holler at Nick he stayed and did overtime to get this thing in my possession literally he got off at like four or five o'clock he was there till nine waiting for me to get off work and drive all the way down to basically San Diego shout out to him for that I kind of like this wine you know I'm gonna miss it if I'm loud like I said drop me some hints tell me what I should do 
let me know give me your suggestions i may listen to them i may not listen to them i'm stubborn you know how that goes but i the main thing is performance now you know i don't want to have something that's going to kill my back pressure off but there's tons of options for that i'm the guy for it so i i'll weed through them and figure out which one straight pipe stupid especially on a hellcat yeah Last exhaust I had on my green thing, I had long tube headers, three inch all manager bent all the way out the back. I had Carvin R series in the middle, and I had Carvin TRs in the back. Shout out to Carvin, they always took care of me. Ryan, you're ugly. Yeah, I might do something similar, but I know that this car is going to be a lot louder than that car, and it's already loud stock. So we'll figure it out. I may play with some things. I have an idea of an exhaust system I want to make where I can interchange stuff and play with it and be loud one day, be quiet the next, have a different tone every day. Something I want to figure out just to play with it. I got an exhaust shop, I can do what I want. <laughs>